What's up friends? In this video I'm going to show you how to pick out an LED for our custom loom cube. Um, I'm going to be using DigiKey and so if you want to follow along go to digikey.com and we will swap to my computer screen. So digikey.com that's uh, the website you're going to want to go to. There will be some uh, different categories over on the left hand side. We're going to go down to LEDs Optoelectronics right here. Click on that and it'll take you to another page with more categories. You're going to want to scroll down and click on LED lighting, COBs, engines, module strips because we need the COBs. So that is going to be the first uh, filter we apply, chip on board. And that leaves us 14,000 left, plenty to choose from. Um, but it'll, it'll get cut down quite a bit here. Uh, once we filter out some more. Uh, I wish you could just set maximum and minimums on your filters, like at least 70, and it would show you everything above that. That would be, that would be dope. Uh, DigiKey, if you're wa or if someone from DigiKey or someone that knows someone at DigiKey is watching this, please. So we're just going to click chip on board. Um, those will usually be higher power. Um, let's see, where's our color temperature? Oh, uh, color temperature, we're going to start at 5000. That's going to be close to your uh, neutral white. Uh, leaves us with 384, so that cut it down really fast. Let's just go ahead and apply that and see what we get. Um, we're going to want to make sure it's a high CRI, uh, color refractive index, I think. I'm not 100% sure, so don't quote me. Um, because that will affect how well your colors show up when you take pictures and videos. Um, that's just the explain like I'm five version. We're going to sort by CRI. And so we get the highest quality ones first. 95, okay. So first one that comes up, Bridge Lux. Minimum quantity one, that's good. You don't want to have to buy 10,000 LEDs at a time. So you got your 5,000K color temperature, that's good. 1438 lumens, that is pretty bright. Um, 33.7 volts. Get off of that. Uh, 33.7 volts, so that's within our, that's under our 35, uh, 35 volt boost limit. 270 or 720 milliamps, uh, and that's within the two and a half uh, continuous output on our boost. So that would be a good one. Uh, 95 CRI viewing angle 120. Um, <clears throat> 1400 lumens, so that's a great option. It's only 365. Uh, let's go down and find one or two more just so I can show you. Oh, I forgot to filter out obsolete. Uh, so click active. Uh, okay, so we're back down to ones that they have in stock. Uh, let's pick out, like I said, one or two more just to keep showing you the process. So we're down to 70 CRI. So that's not awesome, but it's not the worst. Um, there was one that I saw last time that was, okay, yeah, this one. Um, this one you only have to boost up to 9 volts, but you have to supply 1 amp, 1,000 milliamps. That's a lot of juice. Um, but if you don't want to boost it as high, um, you'll probably get better efficiency out of your um, uh, out of your boost circuit because you're not boosting it uh, to such a high voltage. I'm not 100% sure if that's how the boosts work, but um, you will be wasting less the less voltage you boost it up to. That's 493 lumens. That's still respectable, pretty bright. Um, you could do two of those uh, in series. That would be uh, 18 volts, uh, 2 amp, oh wait, no, you could do two of them in parallel, that'd be a 2 amp constant, uh, constant supply, you're getting close to the limit there, 
uh, of two and a half on the booster. Um, so let's just check that out. It's a Cree. Oh, they don't have it in stock. Okay. Damn it. Uh, woo, two and a half amps, or 2.3 amps. 37 volts, that's too high. Uh, here's another nine volt option. 240 available, only $1.10, that ain't bad. Uh, 458 lumens, okay, decent. S CRI of 70, meh. 115 degree viewing angle, so that would be another option to consider uh, if you don't want to boost it up as high. Another nine volt at one amp, uh, 9.2 volts at 1.4 amps. 760 lumens, uh, oh, that's a strip, and it's $13, so quite a bit more expensive, um, but you kind of get the idea. That's how I go through and uh, find an LED from, you know, a reliable source that you know isn't going to be from some not reputable source uh, that's going to give you a, a super cheap copy of an LED, so... Um, yeah, that's how I would select one. Um, just a quick overview if you have any questions. Uh, please comment. I'm more than happy to help out with uh, any questions you might have. Um, but yeah, you can pick pretty much any of the LEDs we looked at. It's going. It's not going to affect your ability to follow along uh, when we put ours together. As long as it'll fit on that heat sink, um, I don't think you really have to worry about anything else. So um, anyway. Thanks for watching. Um, be sure to be kind to someone today, and I will see you in the next video. Have a good one. Prax is still making noise over there.